Question 1. We've got a table that gives information about how 100 children travelled to school one day and for part A we've got to complete the two-way table. So it's called the two-way table because the information about the 100 children has been split in two different ways. So you can see on the left hand side here it's been split into gender, so boys and girls, and then along the top it's been split into the way that they get to school, so walk, car or other. And on the end of each well, at the end of here we've got total and on the bottom we've got total so these will be the totals for each particular group so this 54 here is my total number of boys including walk car and other this 37 here will be the total number of boys and girls that walked and you can see there the full total of all of it is going to be 100 because we've got 100 children in the problem so this is just a simple bit of arithmetic, adding and subtracting and just problem solving to try and find the missing numbers. There are lots of different ways you can go about this. You're just looking for blanks that you can fill in easily. So I'm going to start with uh, this column here, this total column. So I can see I've got 54 boys and I need to get to 100 in total. So by taking 54 away from 100 I can work out that I'm going to need 46 girls and then just start thinking about where to go next, look for easy numbers. So I can see in my other mode of transport column here, I've got 14 boys and 16 girls, so altogether 14 and 16 makes 30. Let's have a look maybe at this block here. So in my walk group, I've got 15 boys and my total needs to be 37, so I can do 37 take away 15 to work out that I need 22 girls. It's quite a good idea to check your answer as you're going so if that 22 is right then when we add up the total number of girls here, walk, car and other, it should give us 46 and if we do a quick check 22 and 8 makes 30 plus the 16 gives us 46 so it's right so far. Let's maybe have a look at this box here now so my car total well, my full total from walk, car and other has to be 100. So whatever is in here needs to be what I need to add to 37 and 30 to make 100. So, so far 37 and 30 make 67. That means that I'm going to need 33 people that travel by car in total. And then I can quickly go back and fill in this box up here, boys who went by car by taking 8 away from 33 to give me 25 and again at the end you can just do a quick check that we haven't gone wrong anywhere because this total number of boys here when I add it up should make 54 so 15 and 25 makes 40 plus 14 gives 54 so that's two marks. Part B we've got one child picked at random and we need the probability that this child walked to school. So probabilities are fractions, decimals or percentages. In this situation it's most sensible to use a fraction. So what we want is we want the chance of picking somebody that walked to school out of the total number of pupils. So in total we've got 100 pupils. We can see it there and we can also see it in the original question and the number that walked in full is 37 so the fraction is just 37 out of 100. Sometimes you're asked to simplify this fraction that would then be worth two marks so it's worth checking the number of marks on the question to make sure that you've done everything that you need to. Uh, it would be perfectly okay to write this answer as uh, 0.37 or as 37% they all mean the same thing but the fraction's perfectly fine.